Facebook Ads Library, this is a place where you can find a lot of opportunities to see what other advertisers are doing and get inspiration. First and foremost, we want to come to facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash library. This will give you a lot of inspiration. And also you can see which brands that are running what type of ads or you can see let's say you're pitching google ads for a client you can also see if they're running google facebook ads or if they're doing something wrong with their facebook ads you can say look if we can run this type of ad i see you're not running this type of ad that is really beneficial and this will get your foot in the door to get a client if you want to first and foremost we see in which country that we we're going to you know what type of ads they're running in which country first of all i will usually go united states their ads they have more ads compared to you know, australia uk or you can do all ads but if you just want to see english speaking ads you want you don't want to do all so you will see all the ads in all countries Ad category, you see issues, elections, and political properties, employment, and financial products and services. These are, the, the bottom four, are going to be a little bit more restricted in terms of what they are able to do, what they can say in their ads. That is why, and also these categories, you won't be able to target gender or age. So keep that in mind. But if you select these, you will be able to see more um, options than what they are doing, what type of, uh, not audiences, but if they're targeting custom audiences, for instance, you know, they uploaded a list and they're targeting that list or running a lookalike audience or how much they spent, for instance, issues, elections and political. So they want to make it as transparent as possible so you can see how much each politician are spending for a specific campaign but we usually go for all campaigns and let's say we want to type in certain advertisers right uh, we let's say true classics is the one that I really like true classics their ads I really like because they grown their businesses with the ads. so if you come type that in you might not be able to find the brand right away so the reason being is you want to go to Facebook after you come here you want to type the name of the brand first so I will grab this name and I will go back to my ads library and paste that in as you can see once we do that you can see the exact name appear exact brand appear with the blue tick mark that's the brand that we're looking for not the other ones that appear here so we're going to click on this and you will be able to see all the ads they're running actively at the moment you can see we have 320 results which is huge guys and there's also status active status active ads so you're not going to be able to see the ads that they paused previously and so on and so forth and the really good thing that i really like about facebook ads library is you can see when the ads started running so you can see it started running on november 15 november 2024 so this means this actually tells you a lot about how successful a facebook ad is if the ad has been running for more than three months that tells you that ad is printing money so if the ad has been running for six months that ad is a winner ad and you want to exactly copy that ad or get inspiration quote unquote you want to use that but if an ad has been running for three days one week you can really tell if that ad is profitable because you they might pause that ad and that ad might be doing nothing for them but if the ad has been running for three months no brand will run an ad for three months if that ad is not producing any sales or leads or quality traffic so in this case we don't really know if these ads are profitable or not so we want to go down maybe want to see an ad that's been doing really good so we can see they started running the black friday sale uh, but since the black friday sale is a really short tempered campaign we cannot really say if an ad has been doing a good job or not right so we have to go all the way down we want to see some evergreen content evergreen means they've been running this long time regardless of a certain campaign or regardless of a certain promotion so for instance these ones they're not really black friday campaigns um we can see this ad has been running for from 15th october so this has been running for a month we can really tell for a month if this is doing good or not this is early this one has been running from september 25 okay so this gives us you know it, it it's been doing some good job right come in today check our new new styles receive 20 percent off when you make a purchase so this they're promoting mainly their you know in-store experience not an online shopping so if you're 
purely doing online e-commerce, this will not be a great inspiration. You have to understand what they want to do, right? What is the goal of the ad? You can look at the call to action here. If you click on it, it says get directions. It is not taking you right away to their website. It's taking you to a map. So that's why you also want to make sure what type of ad, what type of objective they're running. For instance, this ad here, 17th of October, they started running this ad. If you click on shop now, it will take us to their landing page. And also the good thing about this platform, Facebook ads library, is you can see what they are run, doing on their landing pages. You can take inspirations about if time and let's say they're taking people to the homepage and you can get inspiration oh, okay look if they've been running this for a long time and taking to the homepage maybe homepage converts really better compared to let's say a product page in this case you can get those type of funnel inspirations from them as well so in this case they're taking my, taking me to a category page the category is new arrivals it is important to know these guys because this will make you a full on advertiser so let's click on this one for instance uh, let's look at this jumper so this will probably take us to the product page see so you can take these inspirations from these brands so look this they've been doing this they're taking people to the product page another example you can look at the brands that are running on google and then you can look at the ads that they're doing on facebook or maybe they might not be doing any facebook ads at the moment on the given country for instance let's look at megaphone marketing so the megaphone I butchered the name but you know it's still gonna show up megaphone so they have they've been running google ads and we're gonna click and they're gonna take us to their website and what what type of landing page they're using for that specific google ad and you can see oh maybe they're taking me to a different page on google ads than facebook ads and why that might be you can take inspiration from that as well so this is they're running google ads and let's see if they're running facebook ads as well you're gonna type in megaphone and if you type in megaphone it might not come up as you guys can see so we want to say megaphone marketing and now we might be able to see if they're running that all right cool now we can see if they're running ads or not in united states they're not running ads and this is the one that we want to see because they have a lot of likes they have the website and let's see if we change this to australia and most likely we will be able to see uh, their ads here so we type that in and now we can see their ads, which, what type of ads they're running on Facebook ads, right? So we can see when they started running these ads and we can go down and let's see if we can find an ad that's been running for a while. And we want to, of course, as a, as a marketer, you want to duplicate what's working, not exactly copy, but take inspirations from those ads. So these ads has been running from, this ad has been running since august 4th which means that ad has been doing really well and also look at these ads guys to second of july this means this ad has been running for a long time and that ad has to be performing really really well you can click on see details and this will load up and you can see the full ad my name is mindy chisholm and i'm the ceo of zadina I am Zara. Cool. You can see what type of ad they're running. You can see the headline here. And if you click on get offer, it will either take you to a website or it will create a lead generation form. In this case, they're taking us to a website. So this, as you guys can see, this landing page is different than what we saw from the Google ad. The only thing is on the Google ad, we clicked on a branded campaign, but on Facebook, we we clicked on an ad which is more top of funnel so we don't know what that brand is but we just clicked on the ad and we're seeing what type of offer they have and we can see all that testimonials at the bottom we can see what that person is talking about the you know the client results so on and so forth the brands they work with little lemon all that social proof cool so you get the idea of this and i also want to share something guys with you and let's say we clicked on uh, australia let's do united states here clicked on united states in ad categories if we select issues in political elections and i want to see all the ads here cool now we can see all types of ads that is related to trump for instance this is not about elections so i just want to show you you can see how much money they are able to spend you can see for instance these guys have spent estimated audience size to targeting a big audience uh, over a million but they spend less than hundred dollars on this ad you can see all types of ads how much they spent 
Prime Trans, for instance, uh, this is a, they're selling a product in this case. That's why you cannot see this. Uh, but these guys spent less than um, 100 bucks on this. So we can view ads if you click on this. So this ad has spent less than 100 bucks. If you click on see details, um, we will be able to see about advertisers and you will see more details. So last week spends is 209 so they didn't spend as much so here though overall they spent total amount spent from 2018 to 2024 they spent uh, over forty thousand dollars which is considerable but not a huge amount so you can see what type of you know political companies political you know pages this doesn't have to be the official side but they they you can see what type of ads there's money they're spending because in political in the election they have to they have to be transparent about how much they are spending let's look at this one for instance see details and we're going to click on about the advertiser they didn't spend much uh since 2018 they spent only three thousand dollars which is not a lot so you can see all types of all types of amounts spent for these guys so let's look at these guys for instance how much they spent overall they spent around uh, thirteen thousand dollars overall since they started this advertising account so you get the idea you have a lot of opportunities in facebook ads library and uh, please click on the subscribe button so you can get a lot of free content just like this one see you in the next one